a really fun thing to do. Fish catches can be variable, but I'm sure you'll catch something today. You can see how amazingly unique and special it is. There's not another real peninsula on the entire lower Hudson. And here we are. One of the many unique things is about Croton Point, and keep this in your mind because it's it's incredible and we need to protect this place with uh, everything we've got. If you think about the, this shoreline, the east shoreline going south to Manhattan, it's really hard to get a real river experience there, especially a wild one. Here, you have miles of shoreline. Starting down over there, coming all the way around here. And if you ever have the chance, at low tide, low tide only, you can hike the whole shoreline here. It's amazing. In there right now are some, you might call them uh, living rocks. They're covered with barnacles. And you'll see that, uh, you'll see that they'll, they'll start feeding. And they'll put out, it looks like a feather dust that attach themselves to the rock, and they never move again. Except to open their shell up and put this feathery arm out and, and grab or filter out uh, you know, tiny, tiny plankton and then bring it back into the shell to eat. Going back to fish, this whole area we're looking out at right here, right out there, not much of it is over 10 feet deep. It's really, really shallow. And um, that means a lot of light can penetrate to the bottom. That means there's a lot of life on the bottom, a lot of benthic habitat here. And the water is brackish, meaning it's salt and fresh mixed. So you can get freshwater fish and you can get saltwater fish um, in a brackish environment. This is a really important fish nursery, especially for some of the fish that we have that are called anadromous fish, which are fish that live in the ocean and come into freshwater rivers to spawn, to mate and have lay their eggs and leave their young. So important anadromous fish here are, anybody want to jump in on that? Go ahead. What's that? Striped bass is one of the most important for sure. Anybody else? Sturgeon, the Atlantic sturgeon. We also have a short-nosed sturgeon, which has to be about three and a half feet long. They're both federally protected. If you take one home with you, you're a felon. Because they get fished out, uh, the reason they're fished out is their, their flesh is excellent. It was called Albany beef in the, in the 17 and 1800s. It was so commonly eaten. So they got fished out in that way. Also, their eggs are what's popularly known as caviar, one of the most expensive foods in the world. Um, so for that reason, they became extremely rare and they're now protected. And the DEC has been doing a, a lot of um, monitoring of the sturgeon because they're heavily protected as they spawn. So last spring, and you can see it on the DEC website, they took some side scan uh, sonar pictures of this spawning aggregation of Atlantic sturgeon. And there was a big cluster of them, as big as this, like over 20 fish clustered. And in the middle, there was one sturgeon that was 14 feet long. They estimated it was 800 feet. Wow, look at it. So they spread it out. It's really long. And then they walk and that see what they catch. It's a big one. That's awesome. So. It, You'll come up with some cool stuff. What kind of creature is that? I don't know, we're gonna see. It's pretty cool. There they go. See what they're doing? They're basically making a big scoop and they're dragging the bottom of that net across the bottom. So any fish that are down there, they're gonna scoop them up. So I'm calling all of these uh, kids and chat that you can check me on, all right? We have 10 so far. Oh, oh my wow. Goodness. Here we have uh, all gizzard chat. All gizzard chat. Oh, there's a largemouth bass. We have about, uh, a largemouth bass. There's a bass. Bass? Yep. Okay, anybody want to do an estimate on all these fish? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, some big wow. 60, 60, 70, 80. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. 60, 70. I'm going to say, let's say 80 fish. How about that? 80, 80 gizzard shad, unless we identify them as something else. All right? 
Anything else in here? There was a bass somewhere. There's this is a freaking there's look down. Wow. Oh, there was a look down? Really? Yeah. I didn't see him. Yeah. <laughs> he's in the... He's a, uh, anything that looks different, throw it in the bucket. Okay. Um, That's a huge crab. Oh, uh, huge one. Uh, things that are different, we want to put in the bucket. But things, if they're all like these, get your bad. Oh, there's something different. What is this? Is that a baby striper? Yeah, striper. Right. Mom, you're okay. We're going to put these fish back in the water. Bye. Oh, I have Berkeleys that look exactly like that. I felt like so many males. One of them went in my shoe. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, put him back. See if he can live. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we got a flounder! Awesome catch! Let me see, where is it? Right here. Oh, I this is a hog choker. This is a great fish. This one's a... This is a... Oh, it is. It's a very young white perch. It's got some banding. What is that? This is a striped bass. Oh, these are two different things. What is that? Nice. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a flounder. Oh, I got a meal. I got a meal. Oh, we got a meal. Mom got a meal. I got an eel. Beautiful. No, is that a gar? Oh what my gar? god. I got a gar. I got a gar. This is a, this is a pipefish. Northern pipefish. There, if you look at its head. But can I see that? It's a hot choker or a flounder? I can't see that. Aiden, hot choker or flounder? Well, a yeah. hot choker is a type of flounder. That's a question. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, I haven't seen a shrimp in a while either. But it's not boiled. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just afraid of the eel. So I have just found a little baby fish. They say it's a couple days old. And look, it's like iridescent. It's really pretty, but I don't want to kill him, so I'm going to put him back in the water. Into the little water you go. Bye, buddy. Please live. So, yeah, the two unusual fish we saw that we, we caught today, super unusual for here, a look down and a, and a, a smallmouth bass. Um, what else did we see? Did everybody see the pike fish? It's like a mm -hmm. straight seahorse. It's amazing. Yeah. It's got the same face as a seahorse. We cut two of them, right? Um, yeah, we two. got a couple of uh, pike fish. Okay, this is the other unusual fish. This is a uh, smallmouth bass. Got oh, Which is a, which is a, you know, pretty much of a freshwater fish. It's basically an ocean fish. It doesn't belong up here. Wow. Isn't that crazy? I didn't even see that in the net. Very I had cool. no idea they could live in water this cold. Okay, so these, um, I want to show you the hog choker, which is actually my favorite fish here. Did you see him? Can you see him? Everything else is typical. Um, we caught a huge haul of the um, hickory shad. These ones with the big black spot and then the trailing spot. That's a kind of a herring. Um, and herrings are often referred to as the most important fish in the world. They're fodder for other fish. So if you're not allowed to tie up, they can have Yep, he's gone. Bye, Felicia. 
We had a great time as a family at this event. We actually found 10 species that day. Striped bass, hickory shad, blue crab, silver sides, look down, white perch, northern pipefish, grass shrimp, hog choker, and even a smallmouth bass. We had so much fun and I encourage you to do similar activities with your family. It's a great time out in nature learning some new things. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you later.